Good afternoon, ladies and gents. It's Simon here at Vans today in Worcester, and I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2021 on a 21 plate. Uh, the legend that is the Mercedes Sprinter in 314 CDI format uh, with the medium wheelbase and high roof. Um, so really, really popular van, this one. Uh, obviously, the newer shape version, uh, it is Euro 6 emission zones compliant, if I haven't already mentioned that, got mine like a sieve. Um, one keeper from new, just 47,000 warranted miles uh, direct off the lease company. Uh, and I have to say, I think it's in pretty good overall condition. Now, there's a couple of minor bits of cosmetics to point out to you. But really, for one of these, they are they can be a bit of a workhorse, to be fair. Um, but I think this one's in pretty good order, okay? So, let's get started. So, for those of you that haven't seen any of our videos before, the purpose of the videos is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the van. So, you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. And then you can make that informed decision whether this is the vehicle for you or not, okay? Um, yes, you will get a properly prepared van before it goes out the door with a fresh MOT, with a warranty, uh, fully serviced, uh, including oil, oil filter, air filter, fuel filter and pollen filters, full diagnostics and a comprehensive 110 point PDI check done on it as well. Okay, so let's get going. Uh, up here on the roof, up on the roof cone at the top there, you can see it's in overall good condition. No damage that I can see. And then heading down onto your windscreen, the windscreen is also in good order. Uh, no major stone chips that are going to cause either of us any grief. You will always get the micro chips and stuff, but um, overall nothing that I think requires replacement. Onto the bonnet, and the bonnet is in good overall condition. You see my shadow is in the way there, but it's in good overall condition. No major stone chips or damage. Uh, we will go around it with a touch-up stick. Any, any little sort of touch-ins or whatever will get sorted out on it before it goes out the door. Your front grille, front of the front bumper, etc. That's all looking good. Your passenger side headlamp unit, that's all in good order as well. Now, the first of the cosmetics I'm going to point out to you is the pretty poor smart repair that somebody has attempted to take out on that front bumper there, okay? We will get that sorted out. The bumper's brand new, only 140 quid, to be quite frank with you. Um, but um, we'll, uh, we'll get that sorted out in some way, shape or form, because that looks, let's face it, diabolical. Looking down the passenger side, lovely mirror finish to the paintwork there. No major dents or dings to point out to you, all very straight and tidy. Around to the rest of the vehicle, front grills, all good. We have a small scuff to the bumper there, and then we have another very low down scuff on the bumper there as well. Um, your driver's side headlamp unit, that's in good condition. If I get down low, check out the side of the vehicle from this angle, and again, lovely mirror finish to the vehicle on this side as well. No, and again, no major dental dings either. Driver's side front wing, that's all looking good. Driver's side front steel wheel, all in good order there. You've got a Continental tyre fitted to it. That tyre has plenty of tyre tread depth, as you can see there. Where we are with tyre tread depths, anything less than three millimetres, we replace the legal limit being 1.6. The mirror unit with integrated indicator and upper and lower mirrors are in good order. Your driver's side door glass, that's also in good order. Check out the alignment of your door to front wing and door to rear quarter and you can see everything aligns up nicely as you'd expect it to. Driver's side door handle and locker in good order. The driver's side door edges overall good condition. A couple of minor touch-ins required but nothing major. Getting down low, check out your lower sills. Those are in good order with no damage and your protective black strip that goes down the side of the vehicle is also in good condition as well with no scuffing mid quarter panel on this side again all good and then your rear quarter panel on this side again all looking neat and tidy as well side repeaters or uh, marker lamps i should say going down the side of the vehicle are all present and correct driver side rear steel wheel again good condition uh, the tire on the back there is a Michelin we're getting down low towards the uh, wear bars there so it wouldn't surprise me if we had to replace that 
inside your wheel arches you can see those are nice and clean and tidy as well around to the driver's side rear bumper corner and there's no major scuffing there your rear light unit's in good order just attempt to show you the side of the van whilst battling the sun and then let's give you the money shot on the side of the van there we go looks nice and respectable doesn't she rear light unit on the driver's side that's all good bumper corners are good i think that's just yeah a little bit of dust there so that'll clean off rear bumper does have the additional uh, rear step into the back of the vehicle your rear reflectors in that rear bumper are all present and correct and in good order rear steps are quite handy to have door handles looking good and let's just try and get the back of the vehicle without getting blinded by the sun so You've got rear barn doors on a 50-50 split. This vehicle does have the additional Mercedes rear camera fitted to it, which comes up on your um, display on the centre of the dash. Rear doors are in good condition. Opening up. And inside the back of the van, you can see how nice it is. Factory bulkhead. It's not battered to death. The ceiling inside, all nice and clean and tidy. And then nice ply lining kit on the sides of the vans, on both sides. And then your flooring, your fairly standard sprinter flooring to be fair, with all of your normal tie down points in the corners, etc. Yeah, it doesn't appear to have done a lot of hard work in here, to be fair. Oh, he says as he falls out the back of it. Right. A uh, little touch-in required there. Uh, so we'll get that touched in for you. Uh, passenger side rear light unit, that's all in good order. Passenger side front uh, rear bumper corners, all in good order. And again, looking down the passenger side of the van, everything is really as you'd kind of expect um steel wheel this side could do with another quick clean um we have a michelin tire on the back there which again a little bit similar to the other side it's getting down there we'll measure them and see where we are with the tire situation rear quarter on the passenger side upper is looking good lower rear quarter is looking good your side uh, your side marker lights are all present and correct on your a protective strip going down the side of the vehicle, that's all good. Lower sills, as you can see, those are in good condition with no damage as well. Sliding door this side, that's all looking good. And your passenger side door glass, mirror unit, upper and lower mirrors. Uh, door handles, etc. all good. Passenger side front doors all looking good and then Passenger side front wing, that's all looking good. Passenger side front steel wheel, that's in good condition. We've got a continental tyre on there. Plenty of tyre tread depth on that one. Um, sliding door opens and slides back nicely. As you can see there in the sliding door wheel aperture, that's the correct word. It's all looking very neat and tidy. Your door shuts are good. You do have a sliding door rubber seal that's still present and correct and in good order actually there's a little been slightly caught there but that's all good still does the job passenger side front door card again neat and tidy door pockets are good door shuts clean and tidy entry seals and plastics on this side all good behind this flap here we have your diesel fuel filler and then inside the van as you can see the flooring is in nice tidy condition there's your bonnet release dashboard dashboard fascia vents etc all good a bit of storage on top of the dash including more cup holders above your heads there you've got more storage as well 
and inside as you can see factory bulkhead all looking good now we do have a little bit of a mark there on the seat which i assume the valeters can't get off because it has been valeted already um seat trims all looking good in fact this one fold over there you go your storage underneath your front seat there for you as well Now, I'll show you under the bonnet on the way round. So, underneath here, everything's looking really neat and tidy. There's your windscreen wash, plenty of windscreen wash in there. Everything underneath the bonnet here is all looking good. Big air box with air filter in on the top there. There's your oil filler. There's your brake fluid, and there's your coolant, nice correct colour coolant, nice strong coolant in there. Add blue fillers there, but as you can see, underneath here, everything is very neat and tidy. Now then, round to the driver's side. Your driver's side door card, that's in fine condition. Entry seals and plastics on this side are in good order. Your flooring on this side is all in good order. Pedal rubbers are good. Driver's side seat, seat height adjustment through this. But as you can see, nice and tidy, it's not worn through. We have auto lights. We have electric windows and central locking here. Bit of piano black dash uh, trim there as well. And then you've got nice multi-function steering wheel. I'll just jump in the van to run you through the controls in here. So top of your dashboard there you've got additional storage and cup holders uh, we have a bit more storage in there with a usb uh, or us a usb c power point uh, engine start stop button is here so we fire it up uh, it is telling me the service b is overdue by 4,000 miles so that will obviously get done on it before it goes out it'll, it'll actually be a more comprehensive service than your service b anyway the one that we do on it Volume controls, uh, your home button on here as well, uh, your OK button, is there a fuel level? Yes, did you expect anything less? Cruise control with speed limiter is on here as well, horns in the centre there, six speed manual gearbox. Um, we have, as I say, reverse camera on this one, which is a really nice option to have. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we have DAB, FM and AM, and you have Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music, and you also have a wireless Apple CarPlay on these things. Um, so that is II, and there's your stereo. Really nice option to have, isn't it? Uh, and you've got this kind of really nice touchscreen system here that can run you through all of the details on the vehicle. Have a look in between the seats and you can see how nice and clean and tidy it is and that my friends is about it so there are 50 to 60 photos of this van on our website our website is vanstoday.com we are vans today worcester based in the center of the country offering you nationwide delivery part exchange and finance uh, feel free to give us a call with any queries on 01905 672 080 or email us at sales at vanstoday.com. And if you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews, I think, most importantly on Google, um, but we also have a presence on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. A uh, bit of Trustpilot and um, you are watching this video on our YouTube channel. So like and subscribe for all of our latest purchases. Uh, hopefully that's a fairly honest, uh, or it is an honest uh, appraisal of what you're buying. Dodgy bumper scuff is now on the passenger side. A little minor scuff on the driver's side. But the rest of the van, I think, on the whole is very, very tidy for one of these. Um, as I say, we'll MOT it, we'll service it, we'll warranty it. Uh, and we'll do pre PDI and uh, full diagnostics on it before it goes out the door. Now, well done. There's 15 minutes of your life you're never going to get back. But if you are interested in the van, it gives you an honest description, as I've already mentioned, and I'm starting to repeat myself. So I'm going to sign off at this point and go and have some lunch. Um, cheers, folks. See you later. Bye.